happens is uh, event we do every year now that it happens two teams so we've been rivals for so many years that come together for an event like this today. Well, for me, I think it just speaks to uh, the, the character of hockey in our community and uh, the closeness. Uh, as you heard Pierre talk about, you know, him and Steph growing up and and the friendships and uh, and the respect that you have each other for each other, and certainly in retirement, you spend so much time in the community together. And, and whether it's Ben Mahal get a 24-hour, Patty Lafontaine, who I played with and against, uh, to Pierre. Uh, who I've been admired for a long time, but the names go on and on. Uh, but I think it's just that underlying uh, respect and an opportunity to play a game that uh, we all love to play, regardless of your, your age or whether you're playing the National Hockey League still or not. So, When you play in a game like this and you see the various nicknames from different generations, it's almost like you're playing a video game and you get the opportunity to play with guys that you've never fathomed. Like, what's it going to be like for you skating in front of Henrik Lundqvist today? The only difference is in a video game, I'm actually the same speed as them. <laughs> <laughs> so i got to caveat that a little bit because I know my son plays, but dad, you're actually, you know, you can skate with these guys. It's not a chance. <laughs> and it was a, a different game, and, and I will tell you, you know, even being at uh, Ranger practice the other day at the training center, it's remarkable how skilled and how fast and, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, how aware they are on the ice and, and the way they're trained now. But for me, it comes down to personalities. and and playing with guys from different generations, and Hank in particular, uh, getting to know him. I obviously knew him throughout his career and spent a little bit of time with him, but certainly post-career I've gotten to know him a lot better, and just, for me, it's just about his character and his, his family and his girls and, and just what a special guy he is and with his foundation and all the great things that uh, he does, uh, but also how competitive he is. And, and I was fortunate enough to be at uh, the induction at the Hockey Hall of Fame. I played in uh, the, the game... Uh, and certainly I know that I missed my man a couple of times and Hank saved me, so, and I had never had that opportunity before, but even joking around with Pierre playing against him, and he was speaking of hooking him because I was behind the net <laughs> hooking him because he was all over the ice that day. Uh, but uh, again, that's the great part, uh, whether it's Gresh, our coach, or Nigel Dawes coming in and Prusty, uh, guys that I watched at, at the Garden to Wolski, and they, they can still play and play at a high level. And, I think in games like this, they'll, they'll dial it back just to us old guys that have been retired for a couple of decades that uh, don't look too bad. When uh, you dump it in, it's like, oh, that's an old game. So, <laughs> anyhow, it's, well, it's a lot of fun. What was it like to play in this rivalry? I mean, there were so many great moments back and forth, the fans chanting that are in each other's building. What was that whole atmosphere like in the game? Well, I've often said, and I will speak to, to you know, the tri state area when you have. Uh, the Rangers, the Islanders, and the Devils, and they all have excellent teams, which they do now. It just makes for great hockey. And you think of USA Hockey and the growth of hockey, New York and the tri-state area, and, and uh, sorry, New Jersey as well. The game is growing faster than maybe anywhere in North America. And and I think it's that excitement. It's a, you know, all of our industry growth fund. You know, the, the, the growth of the game with our, in particular with the Rangers, we have the, the Junior Rangers program, and you see how many kids have sticks in their hands, and you see kids like, no, he's not a kid anymore, but uh, Adam Fox grew up in Long Island, you know, and, and he, as a kid, enjoyed that rivalry of uh, the Rangers and the Islanders, and yes, it was a different game back then, but the game is the game, and, and, and for me, um, the, I think both teams brought out the best in, in each other, and it was no different uh, with the Devils. Some of the best hockey was when they went head to head because of that. You know, obviously location is a big part of it, and the number of games that you play. And back then, you played. I think when we played the Devils in '94, we had played an exhibition a couple games, six games during the regular season. Other set, like you're up close to 15 games in the season. So the rivals, the rivalries were quite intense. But again, that journey brought respect. And uh, I think in an event like this, you uh, you recognize it more. Maybe because you're older and you try to take things in a little bit more. Uh, but it, it brings back a smile. And, and I will say the first year we, we had this, uh, because, you know, Ranger and Islander fans, this the, an opportunity like this brings all the generations together where you can have kids that wouldn't obviously have seen me play and even some of the great, great, greats like Trotz, who was here a couple of years ago. But I, I can remember seeing him because I've done so many events with him and got to know him. He's such a, a remarkable man. And I just gave him a hug to say hello. And everyone was like, wait a second, Ranger. I don't use you. You know, but, <laughs> but it's that underlying respect and friendship. And, and that's the neat part. And for the families that, that come in Northwell, obviously, is, is such a leader in our community. And this initiative for youth and uh, child and youth uh, mental health and, and their uh, foundation. 
is just terrific. But uh, for, for me, it, it's just getting all those different generations of fans. There's something for everyone because we have guys from all the different decades. And, and we have to keep it young because it keeps the, uh, sure. the level up and the skill level up. Yeah. Who are some of the, the uh, newer alumni that came both on, on both sides who you're looking forward to playing with them again? Well, certainly having Hank here. I mean, that goes without saying the excitement. I know for all of us, not only just playing with him, but uh, for the for the fans. But Nigel Dawes, uh, Prost, Wolski, Boo, and Nabs. I can remember going to Michigan to see him play. Like it's 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 crazy how quickly the the, the game goes. But uh, again, the uh, you know we have Casper. Uh, uh, I've gotten to know very well. Michael Delzato. I mean, the names go on and on. And then we've got some of us older guys, Molly, uh, and uh, as I said uh, before. Um, uh, us older guys just enjoy seeing these young guys. Step Mato, as an example, were, were some of the older guys. But to play with these young guys who, who are just recently retired, you can see the skill and the speed, and, and that's what the fans want to see. Uh, what did you think admire about Pierre Turgeon? You said you admired his game for a long time. Just what did you admire about it? For me, he's just such a gentleman. And I think you can spend two minutes here with him, and you can see what a gen gentleman he is and how respectful he is. And, and uh, Great player. Uh, you, you think about his career, you know, uh, 500 plus goals, close 1,200 points. You know, he is where he belongs in the Hockey Hall of Fame. And, and I told him that I've gotten to know him because Steph and I are like brothers, but they grew up like brothers. And uh, and I just know uh, from not only the stories from when he was a kid, but meeting him personally, I just know what a gentleman he is and, and what a terrific guy he is and teammate. And certainly, Understanding, because I got, I had the opportunity and the privilege of playing against him, and respecting him as a player, he's brilliant, smart, sees the ice, uh, but but truly one of those, you know, almost like old school gentlemen, just a terrific guy. You talk about Fox and Noah Dobson as well, two young defensemen here playing for the Rangers and the Honors. I guess how cool is that to see two young guys really just stepping up for their teams? Oh, without without question, and, and as we've said before, the uh, the speed of the game and the skill, and uh, you, you see the way. Uh, and, and not just on the special teams uh, with the stretch pass and, and everyone thought, oh, the stretch pass, it, it's just on your stick, off the, off the stick and the awareness for me. And it's not just your top line or your top two lines, it's throughout the entire lineup, how quickly they move that puck now. And the game's getting better and better and better every year. And uh, for, for me, it's exciting. I don't miss, obviously, any Ranger games. Uh, and I say that when I go to any event, I said, you think you're a big, big fan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're talking to someone that bleeds blue. So. Um, it's it, it's terrific, and it seems like uh, every year that you have the draft and you see different guys come into the league, and it just seems where there's there's the next guy and the next guy and the next guy, and, and you get the opportunity to see them come into the league, and certainly sometimes it can be overwhelming because it's such a big step. But once they acclimatize themselves and, and they start to play, then you see why you know why the the excitement and why the build up. And what it's about thirty years since. Rangers Islanders playoffs happen. What do you think it would mean for a new generation for that to happen sooner than later? Oh, well, I think obviously, as I said, as I said before, like just the opportunity to uh, uh, celebrate hockey with the three tri-state area teams when when they're at their, their best, it's exciting for everyone. And and it's ex and you think about it, it's not just in the building, it's not just watching it on uh, MSG Network. It's going to your local, you know, you know uh, uh, local whatever it is, school, your your uh, your local store, you, you you know families where you have families where someone in the family might be uh, should be a Ranger fan, <laughs> and there might be uh, fans of the Devils, and you see that that rivalry, but the friendly rivalry, you know, and I and I just think that uh, uh, over the decades that uh, it's it's been great for for growing the game because people truly understand how great a game it is. And, and sometimes getting the opportunity to see it in person takes your whole appreciation of the game to a different level because it is, it's a remarkable game. What, what do you think of Patrick Law being uh, head coach for the Islanders? Uh, I will say one thing about Patty, Patty Law playing against him, getting to know him a little bit. I have nothing but respect for him. I'm one of the all-time greats, competitive. He's obviously a champion both as a player and as a coach who won the Memorial Cup and, and someone I have a great deal of respect for. Okay. Thanks. 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 Thanks.